So do you have any tips, techniques, hacks that people can use in their daily life to help them materialize better and be able to approach their goals from uh, uh, from a broader picture? Mm -hmm. Well, um, first, we got to diagnose, like, is that the right tool to be using right okay. now? Is taking a step back and delaying something the yeah. right step to take? Um, in this case that we're talking about with the cab drivers of like, oh, they should have just stopped working right now because the rate that uh, the rate of income isn't isn't worth it. And like tomorrow, if the weather is better, it's going to be a different day and it would be a better way to spend their time. Mm -hmm. So delaying working on the goal in that case is advantageous. But lots of times we put off the things that we actually can and should be doing now, like calling the doctor, yeah. right? Because we haven't carved out time. We haven't set aside uh, time and work the rest of our life around that five minutes that we would need to make that phone call. Right. Um, so, and also there's a cost to procrastinating that it's a cognitive burden. It's a cognitive load. We have to keep active, like that to-do list, what, whatever it is that, um, you know, the concrete actions that need to happen in order to make progress on that goal, we got to keep those in mind. And that's a cost to procrastinating. Mm -hmm. Um, also some people feel like they work best when they're up against a deadline. So why not procrastinate it? Because that deadline will inspire me. Well, science says actually that's, that doesn't produce the best product. This has yep. been studied with college students when they get to choose their own deadlines or deadlines are enforced and, or they're left to their own devices. And you know what? We usually do benefit by not, uh, being under the gun and, and, uh, burning the midnight oil. So I think, you know, the first step is diagnose whether, is this something I'm procrastinating for the right reason or for an, for a reason that actually won't be helpful for what I want to achieve in the end. And if we've decided that like, yeah, this is something like, um, you know, stopping work now because we're either too tired, the weather conditions aren't right. We're not in the right mind space. We're not in the right setting. Our kids are pulling at us like, and it's time to stop and fi finish it later. How can we get ourselves to do that, to unstick ourselves from that moment? Is that oftentimes we need to take a step back and see that bigger picture. We can do that by asking ourselves, why? Why am I doing this? Why, why am I working on this project? And then ask yourself, why? Again, well, why to that answer? Why, why, why? You ask yourself why a couple of times. You end up getting into this really like abstract space. Like, you know, why am I having this interview with you today? I really like playing with Legos. Why do I like playing with Legos? Oh, it reminds me of my, you know, time with my, some of my best moments with my son. Oh, you know, well, why do you like thinking about the best time with your son? Because it reminds me of who I am at the core of myself, right? It's quick to see how you get to this abstract place. And when we're in that mindset where we're thinking more abstractly, we're thinking more globally, answer, uh, you know, answering, uh, answering with, with statements like because it's at the core of who I am, it makes it a little bit easier for us to make that trade off of like, yeah, I want to get the job done right now, but I'm not doing my best work and I can probably do it better tomorrow. Yeah. It makes it easier to come to that conclusion when we're in this mindset that's more high level.